Welcome to Starbase Pink. This is your daily space and SpaceX news. Let's start the updates with Falcon 9 rocket launch from Space Launch Complex 40 carrying another batch of Starlink Group 6 satellites. This is liftoff. And liftoff. Go Falcon, go Starlink. Here we can see Falcon 9's first stage landing on Just Read the Instructions drone ship for the third time. It was the eighth successful landing for Booster 1076. Completing 70 Falcon 9 rocket launches so far this year. Great job by SpaceX team. Yesterday a Starbase Ship 25 distanced from Booster 9, captured from La Padre's Rover 2.0 camera because of storm coming to Starbase last night and today the weather is looking better with some rain. The same for the next few days. We finally have a name for stock space rocket and the name is Nova. The term Nova refers to an astronomical event in which a new star is born. Stock space announced that it has raised 100 million dollars series B round and they will use the historic launch complex 40 at Cape Canaveral Space Force Station to launch their Nova rocket. Stock space CEO Andy Lapsa reacts, he said, 100 million dollars to build Nova from great group of investors very humble to have the opportunity, now let's go get it. Rocket Lab's team completed cryogenic testing for neutron second stage tank. Here we can see the tank being filled with liquid nitrogen to pressurize it to expected flight pressures. According to Rocket Lab, the team pushed the tank to maximum expected operating pressure and far beyond that, as a result neutron second stage tank popped. We don't have the sound for this one, let's add some. I don't know why, but this looks unscheduled to me because it looks that there is no frost on the tank similar to what we are seeing here during the tanking. So maybe this happened during the detanking. And another thing, they didn't remove the scaffolding around the tank too. Let me know in the comments what do you think? It was a rapid and scheduled disassembly or not? Today Atlas 5 rocket launched carrying to Amazon's Project Kuiper prototype satellites from Space Launch Complex 41. This is liftoff and liftoff of the United Launch Alliance Atlas V rocket, carrying the proto-flight mission for Amazon's Project Kuiper. That's it for now. This is the end of this episode. See you tomorrow.